July 10, 2023. Ukraine war, approximately nine years and five months since the invasion of Crimea. Day 502 of Special Putin's operations. Big picture. Lines in the northern section of the East Front are moving the most in the last 24 hours for both armies. Ukraine has signed contracts with a handful of industrial concerns to produce necessary equipment under license. After a year and a half of hundreds of miles of frontline combat, first aid and uniform supplies are likely in need of a top-off. Shelling across all fronts. Ukraine continues to prove they are not Russians, and the Kremlin is not in charge. Dnieper Line. Fighting over the islands at the mouth of the Dnieper has restarted. The Ukrainian Ministry of Defense has released information that Ukraine holds the island on the left bank at the Antonivka Bridge. Zaporizhia Front. Ukrainian artillery targeted at least two storage facilities, as explosions were heard in Vasilivka and Tokmak. Fighting outside the village of Robotine continues, as Ukraine must continue to defeat somewhere between 8 and 16,000 Russian troops on the line in this area. Russia reinforced here with whatever remains of the 71st Motorized Rifle Brigade about a week ago, after Ukraine started to make large gains into the defense lines. Fighting continues west of the Morky Yoli. East Front, Donetsk. Attacks continued in Marienka, and Russians have pushed to the edge of an important road crossing south of town. The Kremlin ordered another attack on the south side of Avdiivka. Bakhmut area. North of the city at Dubovo Vasilivka the Kremlin made a failed attack. North of Solidar Ukraine has made a number of small incisions in the Kremlin's front line. Oskil border front. At the village of Sprine, Ukraine's 10th Mountain Assault Brigade and the 54th Mechanized Brigade have faced multiple attacks on their positions over the last few weeks. Further north on the ridge where the town of Novosolivsky sits, the Russians are utilizing their road and rail ability to move reinforcements and change attack positions quickly to overwhelm Ukrainian defenders. Heavy fighting here has shown minor but important gains for the Russians in the last week. Northern border. The Kremlin continues to order the shelling of civilian houses and infrastructure, in an apparent attempt to create a dead zone near the border. Black Sea. There are rumors that desired missions from Primorsko Aktarsk were forced to be rerouted numerous times in the last week, due to a shortage of fuel, munitions, or ready pilots. The presence of a Ukrainian cruise missile in the Kerch Strait area caused the occupation government to close access to the bridge for a brief period, Ukraine world-related. After a year and a half at war, Ukraine certainly has views for more combat medical kits and supplies with which to fill those kits. These include single-hand applied bandages, blood clotting agents, local painkillers, general painkillers, antiseptic and sanitation wipes and fluids, tourniquet, tweezers, scissors, field scalpel, stitching needles and thread. Fresh boots and socks, as well as new uniforms for recently created units, and field winter gear, including fall and winter camouflage, would be wise to have on tap in just a few weeks. Turkey has agreed to allow Sweden into NATO. Ukraine will be licensing production from Baker to produce drones and Rinmetal to build APCs. We aim to bring more. Like and subscribe.